Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, Sin and Sacrifice. This is now the final campaign mission, Mission 11. Now, as I mentioned in other videos, Sin and Sacrifice is the fourth DLC to come in the Battlestar Galactica Season 1 campaign to download, should we say. We've seen the addition of new ships, we've seen the addition of chatter, veterancy, and of course campaign missions. So let's take a look at this final campaign, the assault on Ragnar. Now it's been a roller coaster campaign, it really has. We've seen subterfuge, we've seen attacks by pirates, we've seen betrayal of the colonies, we've seen the assassination of a president and the evacuation of Caprica, and it's all coming down to this now. Jumping to the Ragnar Anchorage Nebula, where they think it's going to be safe, or is it? As we can see on the board here, Cylons have already jumped in, and there are, there are marks there on the tactical screen where we can start positioning the Daedalus and our remaining ships of our fleet. Galactica is still missing. Don't know whether they're going to make an appearance or not. Who knows? The campaign, though, has been very good, really engaging. If you haven't got this DLC, I thoroughly recommend it. I really do. I'm just setting up, um, and it's going to be a right old fist fight amongst capital ships and outweighing odds, no doubt, the positioning of my fleet and, you know, what fighters I've got with I've got um, enough ships for stability. So let's get into it now and proceed with the mission. We're all placed. group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. There's already Cylon units on the board. I hope we haven't made a mistake leaving Clothos up here. I am not your enemy, Lieutenant. Lachesis has found and destroyed the last of my reversions. I am all that is left and as much a fugitive of the Cylon Empire as you. Set condition one throughout the fleet. Engage all hostiles with extreme prejudice. We will make Lachesis think twice before coming to Ragnar again. So there you have it. There's still that distress of the Cylon Clothos. They've jumped to Ragnar yes, Anchorage. There's so that protection of the Nebla that we saw as well um, in the the initial so mini mini series of the reimagined Battlestar Galactica by Ron Moore, hoping that you know the Cylons weren't yes, going to go in there um, because of cause of damage to electronics and what have you, and of course the ships yes, um, that were jumped in from the co colony side they they were they were protected from it, but the Cylons weren't. Nebulas do affect them in a derogatory way. So we've jumped in. We've got a couple of ships on the board. We've got some Minotaurs, some Navera ships. We got uh, colonial Heracles as well, which we've got. Cylons still continue to jump in. It's going to be an overwhelming odds battle. It really is going to be um, a big old thumping fist fight right to the end. To be fair, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get out of this one. I really don't know. So I'm going to start positioning some of my ships. I'm going to get my squadrons in the air as well. That from Daedalus and from the ships. Yes, We're going sir. to get as many planes as we can in the air we're going to get some missiles flying Understood. we're going to use our guns you know we're going to try and Launching use some of the fire. elevation techniques as well against the cylons that we've seen in some of the multiplayer games yes commander we're going to have to really sort of pull it out of the bag Understood. if we're going to get out of this one so the cylons have effectively chased us all away from caprica across the bottom of the map all the way over to ragnar anchorage and they've been pursuing us and the civilian ships that we have been protecting right the way through. So as we saw with the attack on Caprica, well first of all we saw with the, the attack on the President. The President got destroyed and you know some of the colonies had relented to the request of the Cylons to have a place in the colonies that they could call home. So they've caused that Helios Alpha. Brilliant. So that means Caprica as well. So they started nuking Caprica. Everyone started evacuating from 
um, that particular colony, and we were there tasked to protect them, all those evacuating ships. So there was freighters and there was transports, a bit like Colonial One, jumping from the Capricorn system into another system, yes, which we then had to jump, follow, and ensure this. A lot of ships were damaged or destroyed, completely wiped out. I had a right old bloody nose from it. And um, as a result of which, a lot of the bonuses that we would have built up over prolonged period throughout the campaign were decimated. So I've had to put in new ships uh, that haven't got the bonuses that have been involved with veterancy, which came with Sin and Sacrifice, this, this fourth DLC for Deadlock, in place. So I really am sort of kind of starting afresh as well. I've put the Colonial Heracles ship in here, and my thinking around that effectively is it can take a hell of a lot of punishment. No missiles, identified. just guns. You know, every inch of that ship has guns. I've got Minotaurs in there as well because they could take a pounding. You know, we've got a couple of Battle Stars in there. More Cylons, look, are jumping contacts. in. Multiple bearings all closing distance. The storm clouds aren't slowing them down. They have no option. Either they risk sickness and injury here, or capital punishment for insubordination. Suicide or execution? Not much of a choice. How many will Latches to send out here? This is just the beginning, Admiral. Victory at any cost. We've seen the Cylons are being made to jump into the clouds. Victory at any cost. Yes, Else. Sir. Lachesis is going to destroy them anyway. So, being semi-sentient, or sentient artificial robots as the Cylons are, what effectively is happening now, they're being told to go in there, destroy the Colonials and the Daedalus at any cost. And no nebula cloud Understood. is going to stop them from doing that. Hey, you know, it's a dictatorship, no doubt. So we're splitting out. We're engaging on two fronts. Missiles More keep incoming. jumping in. We're going to use all our missiles. We've got no supply ships in the area either. I haven't used supply ships in any of the missions, fire. really, because uh, I haven't needed to up until now. And to be fair, with the amount of Cylons that are currently on the board here, yes, I don't think I'm going to have to be able to use them either. I mean, it's just going to be a case of staying alive is going to be is going to be the hardest part as well. And where do we jump to? You know, they are in high-speed pursuit, hot pursuit, those Cylons are, of the Daedalus and its fleet because they view it as a threat. And that's something that we've seen yes, emphasised throughout each of the, of the 11 campaign episodes so far. So, as a result, we are where we are. We've got inexperienced crews with no veterancy. We've got battle stars. We haven't got the Galactica because that's still, we think, at Caprica trying to fix this FTL. So one of the Agathon sisters is still on there. We've got Helena. More Cylon contacts. We've got We're Lucinda King. From all sides. More Cylons are jumping in. This really is going to become a battle against, you know, insurmountable odds. Um, and it, it kind of looks like this is just going to be a case of just hanging on as long as we possibly can until perhaps the cavalry arrive, if there is indeed any cavalry. But we kind of sort of like shot our bolt and most of our ships are here now anyway. Though we're still capped at 8,000 command points on the yes, Daedalus, sir. despite, you know, what commander you've got there. Still 8,000 command points. Which I hope they increase for the next season of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. That would be something nice to see. I want to see massive battles. The machines we've got these days can handle it. Um, you know, I really do think that would be worthwhile, you know, worthwhile playing for season two. Newer ships, more advanced colonial ships, higher command points so you can command more vessels and perhaps not cap support vessels as well in with that 8,000 points. Understood. So I'd like have, you know, support ships there as well. That really would be good. So, so far, so good. We haven't lost any ships. Um, that's only really going to be a matter of time. We've been laying missiles out. Our fighter squadrons are in the air. The big guns from all our gunships are lashing down on the Cylons. Some still packed. haven't revealed Minerva's themselves either. Damage. And so far, you Minotaur know, we're seeing, damage. you know, the a smaller Cylon packed. ships. Artemis We've got the Revenant. Damage. You know, we've got the Talon, the Nemesis. All of that can do a hell of a lot of damage. More, contact, More are jumping in as well now. We've 
This is too much. Even out in the frontier colonies. We can't hold off this many. Sound the evacuation alarm. Admiral? Lucinda Kane saying... We have 3,000 people on board We're station, and they don't all need to die along with it. I want every FTL-capable shuttle and Raptor packed and launched now. Sir, we've never... We've never planned to evacuate Daedalus. We could jump, find another location... They're saying they haven't got plans to evacuate. How are we going to do it? We'll just chase Daedalus wherever we take her. This was our last gambit. Ragnar's fury has not slowed them. Nothing. They've got it. They're saying they're going to they chase Daedalus as far as they can. Sound the evacuation, Sound the evacuation and get everybody to the escape raptors. Station set controls to automatic and evacuate the station. This is not a drill. All stations evacuate. So the plan is there now to evacuate the Daedalus in the middle of the Ra of the Ragnar Nebula. The Cylons are coming. Only choice we got here is to run away so to the all. other colonies. And use the Daedalus yes, as bait. Yes, Commander. For the oncoming Cylon horde. And it is a horde. I mean, I've never seen so many ships in this game. Missile tubes at press. this stage. Um, and that, that's something to say, you know. And they haven't revealed themselves yet either, you know. We're, it's a case of now, all we've got to do is just hang on until that evacuees number in the top right hand corner, just by the Ricardo logo. The Ricardo Gaming logo um, reaches 3,000. So Minotaur 250 start damage. jumping away. Artemis is taking damage. We're still destroying Cylons. Some of our ships, the, the Minotaurs, taking damage. they're Friend, taking we haven't a even pasting. got jump coordinates ready. The Raptors will take a dozen jumps to get to the nearest colony. Leave that to me, Lieutenant. Your crew will have jump coordinates to Scorpia as soon as they launch from the hangar bay. Commander. Clothos, the friendly Scion, is saying, I'll do the jump coordinates for you. Is cleared, tell them to scatter jump. Where do we set the regroup zone, sir? We don't. They're not setting a re regroup coordinate, just scatter jump. Jump wherever you want, and then, you know, make your own way to wherever you're going afterwards. It's effectively what they're saying. And think about it that way, it's a bit, you know presumptuous to think that they would never ever have to abandon the Daedalus mobile shipyard and now here we are insurmountable odds a couple of capital ships that we've got you know maximum of seven you can have with your 8,000 command points and an insurmountable amount of odds that they've commander. laid on this final mission well it was going to happen wasn't it Launching and that's probably Raptors. all part of the narrative taking us into Season 2 um, of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. So, good stuff. I hope we get a better shipyard this time, or some sort of better... Because it needed missiles, damage. didn't it, really? It needed missiles, um, it had two Vipers, perhaps Minotaur it needed is taking four, damage. so you could have Raptors attached to it hacked. as well. I think it needed to be a little bit more grandiose. But for the season one, you know, an early colonial technologies are where we are with the first Cylon War, I think is fantastic. Now look at it, our battle stars are taking a right old pasting. We've already lost a Minotaur. Yes, Commander. The evacuees are increasing with every jump um, and every turn that we that we commit to. I mean, really, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. This is the final mission of the Minerva campaign, and it's going to end in retreat. Minerva so it's like down. one of those classic things they do in Hollywood, where they really sort of like, they keep you up, they keep you up, they keep you up, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning, and there's a huge setback that takes you right the way to the beginning. I mean, look what happened in Star Wars, that sort of thing. So it really is putting the Colonials really on the back foot here. Everything that yes, they've commander. built, their entire Colonial fleet, now decimated. Their mobile on shipyards it, will be in the hands of the Cylons. Everyone is running, running for their lives against the Cylon. And as a result of which, it'll, it'll simply be a case of, well, do they rebuild? How do they rebuild? How will season two of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock reveal itself? How will it manifest itself? Will it be a case of, it'll be Galactica getting back to Air the fold? We know damage. Galactica survives, don't we? Well, we know we do, because it's there in history. A battle star is being but, hacked. You know, what else? What else could they possibly do? 
Okay, so we've lost two ships so far. Uh, no surprise there. Actually, we've lost yes, three Amanda. ships. Yes, the evacuees number. All the shuttles are now launching from the Daedalus and jumping away. So not so much tactics here really, but just providing yourself a bit of a screen Squadron target that will give those shuttles time enough to jump away. So I've really enjoyed this campaign. I really have. Even though, you know, you cannot win. There's no way of winning this particular this, this particular episode, or the final episode of this campaign. But you know, it, it's told a good story. Well, look, you've got more Cylons jumping in. Oh joy, more good news. As if they needed more. The Artemis class Battlestar as well. Taking a pounding to its hangar. Vipers are still in the air though. The Viper squadrons are doing quite well. I've lost one squadron, three ships, the Artemis Battlestar, that's going to take a good pounding as well. Trying to use the Daedalus turrets as well to sort of lash down some heavy fire. The amount of evacuees, Understood. we're nearly there. Ending another turn. Missile tubes prepped. Just trying to outmaneuver some of the heavy guns from some of the other ships. But they're coming. They're gonna get me. You know, there's there's no point fretting about this. There's virtually no strategy involved other than Subsystem is back staying online. out of the way, really. A battle star is being hacked. Missiles incoming! Almost all stations have evacuated, sir. You and the commander need to get to the hangar. That's not how this works, Helena. This is my station, my commander. So Kane's going down with the ship. You should go now. Go find your sister. I... I can't. Daedalus never had its launch bay control agent updated. I've had to clear them all manually from here. Those last raptors are waiting for me to clear their launch. Good That's bit of story. It. Set blast doors for when the commander has gone. And prepare for hostile borders. By your command. And there it is. Missiles are coming in now. The Cylons are boarding. Understood. Evacuation is still underway. Got all our ships still circling around in a close formation. I've got it round the Daedalus. Try and keep people as far away as possible for as long as possible. So Cain going down with the ship. I mean, the grandmother really of um of kane Squadron target that we saw in battlestar galactica season two with the pegasus again Artemis is still, taking damage. still maneuvering daedalus is taking damage we're taking a huge amount of damage The crew's nearly gone now from the Daedalus. Last few shuttles remaining. Still gonna fire what little missiles we've got left in the hope that we can just fend them off. It's a little bit more time. Fire controls offline. Well, of course it is. What a time to lose the ability to shoot a missile.
A battle star is so being saying that, the amount of ships that were being damage. sent out, we've still got three Dalen ships on the board. Right, nope, sorry, I just spoke too soon. That's two ships on the board. The More torpedoes the coming in. The last of the raptors. If you intend to save the lives of your Clothos, sounding the evacuate. So Colonial fleet, this is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated, and Daedalus fleet group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial fleet is effectively dissolved. Go. And she has protect dissolved colonial fleet. Go and protect, protect your homes, people. your families. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. And let the Lord, Lord of Kobolds guide, guide you. you. Lord of Kobol guide you. And that's it. That looks like that. So let's take a look now at what happened in the cinematic version. Let's see what's happened. So let's do the replay. Check your solutions before engaging. Escort priority one still online. Escort clearance zone is active. We're gonna hammer the fractures so they can't get back up. Come on, come on, come on. Some of the captains complied with Kane's orders and jumped from Ragnar. Others stayed behind and died. The heavy raiders soon followed. The blast doors only held for a few moments. The Centurions breached the CIC soon after. Kane fought with the fury of a Valkyrie. The roar of her shotgun echoes in my memories still. In this moment, this brief whisper of a moment, I remembered it all. My family, my sister abandoned on Galactica. 
the confidence I felt in Kane even in that exact futile moment. The failed experiment that was Colonial Fleet. My regret that I had not done something. Just one thing. Different. Colonial Fleet has changed since Daedalus. Cleansed in the flames of Galactica's rebirth. A different doctrine. With a different outlook on the war. Lachesis landed in Helios Alpha. There was fighting. Ever more fighting. Resistance was built on the promise of freedom and revenge. The ceasefire expired, and the twelve tribes of man once more united. Once more they faced the enemy they had built with their own hands. And perhaps, most importantly, a different assessment of their allies, held at arm's length, and accountable for their actions. A lesson hard learned by some, by us. Even Lachesis, indomitable and unbending, heeded the parable of Daedalus. In time, all empires must fall. So the Cylons boarded. They lost Daedalus, the fleet has been scattered and it's all setting up for it to be rebuilt now in season two in a different image of the game. I dare say the, you know, the, the tactics and the dynamics of the game will remain the same because that's been developed and developed over a year and many downloadable content additions as well. Hope you've enjoyed watching this series of the Battlestar Galactica Sin and Sacrifice Deadlock campaign. I've really enjoyed doing it. I thoroughly avoid, um, I thoroughly enjoyed doing this campaign as well. I hope you go out and buy it. It's worthwhile if you like these sort of games. I've been Ricardo. This has been Ricardo's gaming channel and the final episode in Battlestar Galactica Sin and Sacrifice, the fourth DLC of the Deadlock RTS game. What a ride. So check out more videos of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, Elite Dangerous, Subnautica, No Man's Sky, all those sort of games as well that I'll be covering over the next couple of weeks and months. Some retro games as well with Star Trek and the point and click adventure from Interplay and other games that I come and find of what's happening around in popular culture. World War Z, a good zombie shoot 'em up game is coming out soon, especially this April. So I might have a little flutter on that as well and see how that goes. Take it easy. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're still with me at the end of this, this video, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.